Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to WCNC Charlotte to go. This morning we're talking about creepy and crawly. Yes. Every year we deal with them. Our favorite insects. Yeah. Cicadas. Uh, right. The bugs are known for the high-pitched noise they make and for hanging around the Carolinas. Several claims, though, have been circulating online, say two different types of cicadas yeah. are now emerging, something that last occurred more than 200 years wow. ago. 1803. But is this true, Larry? Well, we need to verify. Well, so can we? Yeah. Uh -huh. Megan Bragg's here. <laughs> All of these cicadas are completely synchronized with one another. So every single 13-year-old cicada emerges from the ground simultaneously, flies around, has a massive party, sheds their exoskeletons, makes massive nests, and then dies. Several posts on social media say two different types of cicadas will emerge across several states, and they also claim this hasn't happened in two centuries. So is this true, and will we see it in North Carolina? Let's verify. Our source is Don Flynn, adjunct curator of entomology at the Scheele Museum in Gastonia and the University of Connecticut. Flynn tells us each year in North Carolina, we see a particular type of insect in the summer called the dog day cicada. But this year, we will be greeted by another type of cicada as well, this one called Brood 19. The periodicals only come out every 13 years. For 13 years, Brood 19 cicadas have lived underground. Flynn says several states in the southeast, including North Carolina, will see them emerge this summer. The immatures are underground feeding on the roots of trees uh, during that period of time. And then uh, at the end of their time underground, they come out and they attach to something solid like the side of a building or a fence post. There is a third type of cicada that is also expected to emerge this year. Flynn says it is true Brew 13, which has a 17-year life cycle, will come out as well. When combined with the Brood 19s, that will mean billions and billions of cicadas, but only in some parts of the country. The two broods uh, are going to be meeting together uh, for the first time in 221 years in the same place, and that's in, north, in northern Illinois. They won't, both broods won't meet here. Thankfully, we won't see brood 13 in the Carolinas, but we are expected to see more activity because we should get the brood 19 insects alongside with our annual dog day cicadas. And that high pitched sound they all make, that's just their mating call. There's nothing you can really do because there's so many of them. They're going to be in the trees, and the males are the ones that make all the noise that sing for the females. So we can verify that, yes, two types of long dormant cicadas, brood 19 and brood 13, will emerge in some states, but only brood 19 will emerge here. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bryan. There you yes. have it. The That's more you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. The men are the ones that make all the noise. Love those females. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, she said the females do, too. I mean, it's mm -hmm. females. Higher pitch, I guess. Yes. Uh, Joy Mott chiming in saying, I don't think they're in Wisconsin. I haven't heard them up here. Uh, you wait, Joy, here. You wait, <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> you wait. Once that ground falls out. And the hey, here's a picture. Take a look. This is a, so you can just see exactly how they look. Ew. Oh, why do you do that to us? Oh, you'll see them. Oh, yeah. That's All nice. over the ground. See, see the, but that, that looks like a fly. But in actuality, it's like 10 times the size yeah. of a fly. Very big. Yeah. 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 yeah when they, they, they hit you, too. The I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, and they fly. Yeah, uh, the and they'll stick, to stick to you, stick to your hair. Remember, they used to f congregate out there. Seriously, you have several every morning. You walk in. <laughs> I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. They'd be uh, hanging out there. So, yeah. so but Let's sometimes this is, a, is yeah. an issue, and sometimes it's not. Yeah, I mean, well, see, it's cyclical. It's yeah. like every 17 years, every 19 years. And there are cicadas that are out there every summer. Because I feel there. like we always yeah. see them. Always do. But then yeah. when they're, the broods come out, uh, they're gigantic mm. amounts of them, and they just, mm. the sound is a cacophony of noise. Mm. I mean, oh, good it, word. It really is. Wow. It is so loud, you can barely hear yourself if you're in a wooded area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about Charlotte, because of all the construction and excavation, that that eliminates a lot of those oh, that's a true. lot of those cicadas. Yeah. So we don't have quite the problem here that some the wooded areas have. Sure. So if you live out in the country, loud. <laughs> don't you live out in the country? Yes. It's going to be so loud. <laughs> You could be you could be moving yeah. out of the station, living over here. No, that's fine. Meanwhile, oh. for different like birds and things like that, this yeah. is the ultimate Thanksgiving. They love it. Oh. Yes. Yeah, dogs super pumped. love cicadas. Oh yeah, my dog likes. They do. Oh, yeah. Yes, they do. You can they, hear the crunch. They, yeah, they, if you step on them, they crunch. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. I just didn't realize. <laughs> right? I do not like. I guess I've never paid attention when I let the dogs out what they're they, getting they into. Find them. Yep. They, you you they, got a dog now? Yeah. Dog's gonna be eating cicadas. They're protein. Come on. Have you ever tried one? 
Have you ever tried one? Chocolate covered. Oh. Yeah, well, I just right. I hate anything that crawls to begin with. <laughs> yeah, these are these they are, are big. disgusting. Big. They look they look like they're they could bite you, but yeah. they don't. They don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they do. They have this look in their face like, I'm coming after you. Uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, Especially the fighting cicadas. Is really, there like a that, cicada repellent that I can get from my apartment? I don't know what I'm going to do if one of them gets in there. I really don't. Uh, roach away. I don't use that. <laughs> Spray it on. Yeah. Of course, your skin will fall off. But uh, uh, <laughs> oh my I don't think there's cicada repellent out there. No, I don't think so. You just have yeah, to gonna. They're not going to hurt you. No. Yeah, but I don't They'll want one of them in my house. They're not pretty, but That's not awesome. pretty. They're, they're oh, friends. my God. They um, can go in your it reminds me of the, the canker worms that we used to get here. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that we got for they years. They fall out of the trees. So they don't park underneath and, and the tree. Decades. I remember that. But because of, because of Charlotte's tree banding efforts... Yeah. They were, largely yeah. did yeah. away with them, and then they did some aerial sprays, a couple of springs. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking about just like two or three years they ago. Hang um, off, they hang off of trees. Canker worms. Canker worms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and they're nice. no it longer really like a Jerusalem. They're no <laughs> longer really a thing. Yeah. <laughs> they would like get in your hair. Like, oh, yeah. Yep. That's yeah. nice. Cicadas, mm -hmm. canker worms. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the sunny south. That's mm -hmm. right. This is great. That's right. That's right. All right, folks. <laughs> Chime in. What do you think? Don't about brood him? over this. <laughs> yeah, don't brood. He is leaving. I am. We'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>